the sun, oh, this is space. It has no beginning and no end I mentioned. And also this matter, it doesn't walk alone. It has invisible forces of nature that nobody can see, the electrical, magnetic, and all these probably other substances. But anyways, between me and you, this empty space, this is where these electrical forces collided and they ignited a flame. And from that flame grew a gigantic fireball right here between us, the sun burning away. And in space time, just like uh, a mother giving birth to a baby, that baby has to come out in nine months. Whatever was in there, the particles that was in the sun, when the sun gave birth, it had to give birth. That's why it exploded and it made a, it just scattered whatever particles were go meant to be gone. They went this way, that way. The furthest planet they say is Pluto. That's as far as it can go because of this is the boss here. The sun is the boss, magnetic pole. Controls the whole entire, our galaxy here where, uh, where it ro everything rotates. So in order for the sun to be created, it had to give birth. Oh, that was it. In order for the sun to have been created, Oh, what was the there rest? had to be first the accommodation of the space. The accommodation of space, that's it. That's the that's one. The one that Without I that, there's nothing that's, that's going right. to be because yeah. everything would be blocked. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is whichever way one's, one wants to look at it. Mm -hmm. Whatever way, there's intelligence here. So anyways, when the sun did give birth, Mother Earth, our Earth here came to this direction right to where, it, where we're at right now. Dangling in mid space. It came here in a fireball like the other objects up there. And the Earth stopped right here in the fireball. I don't question, I don't question, well, how did the uh, frog get made or the elephant? Everything was in that whatever it was, and it just came out into formation after the earth settled to whichever way. And uh, that's my, uh, my interpretation of that. In order for the sun to be created, there had to be first the accommodation of space. Yeah, that's what I remember. And then the sun was able to give birth. So this is where, where we at, but we're connected. That's why we're able to think. You gotta think in mind. You could be wherever you're from. You said the Bella Coola. You're thinking of me, I'm thinking of you. That's how powerful these minds are. We're electric, we're, uh, we're wired right into this electrical system. So, Naturally, human beings are very smart people in a certain group that developed uh, science, technology, and everything. The sophisticated, far beyond realistic or even, it's just awesome to make a telephone, to make a telephone, to make a spaceship, fly around, and all these, uh, 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 whatever the sun provided, they're tuned right in there. They're tuned right in there with... So how would you equate all that? Like in order for m money to have dominated the earth, there also first had to be the accommodation for that to happen. People had to well, this be is open where, to allow that. Well, because they started to develop uh, a trading years ago. Before all tribes like us, uh, First Nations, we had our own, there wasn't any money, there was no trading. 
maybe food source and that. But over there 20,000 years ago already there, there's even old coins dating back, what, five 5,000 years ago. And, and that's where all this started. Whoever invented that uh, was, uh, it couldn't be just one person. These are a, a group of people, scientists. Masons, of the, Masons maybe? Uh, 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 of the yeah. European, Cults. yeah, European descent. They're the inventors of uh, money. I think Chinese plays a big role in that area also. And, and now why would they do that though? Now they got everybody controlled and, and everything's in the process of destruction. Well, this is the way it is and that's why it's, it's quite, a, quite a history because uh, from money you start to discriminate other people. Uh, you start to murder, I mean literally murder other people so you can prosper and get yourself that uh, 160 uh, room mansion up on top of the mountain or something. Yeah. It's a crazy yeah. world, it's all about money. That's what it is and it has ways but why, of making though, but why, why would, like, like, like how did they overpower everybody in their minds and get everybody going along with this and now we're destroying the earth? For that dollar, for that, for the, for the money. Well, they don't see it that way. There ain't no way they're ever going to cease uh, not making money. That the way the system is operating right now is the way that it's been developed over all these years. You know, and there a isn't a damn thing one can do about it. Why this? Why that? The money is there and there's certain people over there because they go to school, they know how to channel and funnel this money into all kinds of businesses and it's a big outfit. Yes. It's yeah, a big they, outfit. I have Airplane. a friend that won't use money. They, 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 he refuses to touch it. Yeah. He, he, and he has nothing. He has no ID, no possessions. Well, it, but he's out, it, of, he's out of he's out of action. He's like a like a monk on the earth. No, we. I don't think I'd want to do that. I'd I'd have to try and get something to eat. I have to see. This is the unfortunate part of the lower class people like us, probably in the class structure, uh, First Nations. We were never taught how to bank money, save money or to value money. It, it, it never was like that because of the changing culture slowly I figure. What do you think about the, the urban natives position in, in, in this, in the, in, on the level of, you know, validity, like how the urban, per, the native that is trapped in this system and this society they're hard hit, aren't they? Like oh, that's uh, a permanent damage. There ain't nobody gonna do nothing about this. People know this, the police know this, the governments, the Pope, the Queen, they all know exactly what is, what is being done here unjustly to, to the native people. One of the things is they never educated us to their system to understand the, uh, uh, our survival skills. We don't have, uh, if there's any architects here, I think there's one, how many doctors, how many lawyers, how many how many uh, getting ready to be astronauts up there to go into that spaceship? You know, we're, this is a sad case. We're completely excluded out of this system because of the money. And the, and the education too, like, like, like as you say. say. Like it's, it's like, yeah. So how do you feel? Like you're almost 80 years old now. Well, you, I'll be 80 you, in March. When I first met you, it was back in 1996, I think it was. Yeah. You, were, you were doing a hunger fast. Hunger fast, fast yeah. yeah. That's how I met you. Yeah. And did you ever have any of those tapes that we did from that time? I don't know. Uh, a lot of people just helped themselves, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it'd be interesting to see. I remember when the first bodies start showing up on the streets there. Yeah, but we can't give up. We can't, I, 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 I couldn't do nothing and I can't do, I can't stop what's going on. I'm aware of the destruction to the earth. 
to our environment, uh, the destruction to human life, animal life, species life, everything's in danger here. Even our uh, environment, our atmosphere is changed. Mm -hmm. It's changed. Uh, now they're talking about because of all the dredging and digging and all this logging and whatever, you know, it's it's crippled. Uh, it's crippled us really bad. Well, Bill Quinn, listen, it's been nice knowing you. I uh, yeah. thank you for this little talk. Yeah. Good to see you. Anyways, uh, I, I would just like to have people out there just be yourself. If you're be kind, be respectful, be honest, be truthful. Speak the truth from the mouth. That's all we have to do here. And uh, I'm sure we can understand one another in mm -hmm. a good way so that we can get our grandchildren into a better world than it is right now. Right now it's just like... Thank you, Bill. Yeah, thank you.